Back here in Queens with Chris Singleton. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for tuning in. And we've got a good one going here in Extra Innings. We're at extras here. So up now for Chicago, Clint Frazier. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. So now a pinch hitter, Nick Madrigal. He comes to the plate in a huge spot in this one. And a pitch. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Gomes stands at third with one gone in the inning. fly ball out of the left center field. Throw is offline and he scores. It's 3-2. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. Here's Nico Horner. We talk about guys with good speed and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside, for just a second, Chris. It's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. The 0-1. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. Corner into second, and he's got a double. Two hits for him in this one, both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. Rafael Ortega stands in. The right-hander back to work. And that's a strike. Next pitch misses outside, and it's a ball to strike. Kicks and deals. Alonso makes the catch, and that'll do it. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. Last chance to even things up, we head to the bottom of inning number 10. It's the Cubs three and the Mets two. So remaining in the game defensively, Nick Madrigal. He entered the game to pitch hit, and now man second base. Rowan Wick comes on now. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. And welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And stepping in for New York, Brandon Nimmo. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. First pitch, and he just misses. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. When you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their key. Next offering is in for a strike. Action in the pen down there. Michael Gibbons getting loose out there. Robertson getting cranked up as well. Next pitch inside. Two and one. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. All season long, he's racked up a number of saves, and sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. And it beats him for the first out after the drop third strike. Now it's the right fielder, Starling Marte. One for three. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Now, Boog, this is a real tough place for visiting teams to come in and close out ball games for a win. 
that's in there and a count one and one. Here's a one one. Soft contact in the air. Magical. Pulls that one down. And there's two down. Now Mets down to their final out. And now here is Francisco Lindor. Trying to deliver as the hero. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. And that's in there for strike one. Well, they're applying pressure. Quality at bats. Quality swings right now. And see this offense doing it one man to the next showing a lot of fight right now they're making it difficult for the back end of this bullpen to close out this game smoked on the ground a second throw to first ball game and the Cubs with the rubber match of this three game series Well, this place is ready. We'll be right back to get this series started in just a minute. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show presents the National League Division Series. It's the San Francisco Giants going up against the New York Mets. Folks, John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton. Game one is always critical in a postseason series singing. Yeah, and this is when you love having home field advantage, Boog. If you capture game one, you're full of confidence that you've got a chance to ride that momentum for the rest of the series. And on the visiting side, starting pitching is always the big key in a game like this to kick off a series. Yeah, you need a strong performance on the mound. That's the number one way to cancel out the home field edge we just mentioned. First pitch coming your way next. Here's Kurt Casale. Now batting. Catcher. Kurt Casale. And a pitch. Well, who would have thought Jacob DeGrom as a college shortstop and then a ninth round pick by the Mets was going to turn into this good of a pitcher back to back Cy Young's in both 2018 and 2019 first and second two down Three. got him that's the third out a lot of adrenaline we can see it right there and sometimes you just got to let it out that's an outstanding job of taking that executing and getting out of a tough inning. Back here at City Field, now the left fielder, Mark Canna. The left fielder, Mark Canna. The pitch. 
Here's a strike. And ball one. Next one misses, two and one. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Two one pitch is in there, and the count is even. And the righty deals. Swings and misses. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. The third baseman. Eduardo Escobar up now for the Mets. The pitch. That's in there. That's strike one. The next offering misses. And that's ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Stays alive. But why to kick the pitch? And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. Right hander kicks deals. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Next offering is foul back. That one blasted deep to right. It's gone! Eduardo Escobar leaves the park. And just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. Just barely got it over the wall. I thought for a second he brought it back out there too. Gave it a great effort, but you know those plays are so tough to pull off. And I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it. One down, and here is Dominic Smith. Now batting, the, the right hander back to work. Dominic. That's in there. Strike one. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. That one misses. One ball, one strike. And a foul ball. One and two here. Hard on the ground to first. And he handles it himself for the out. The batter, number one, second baseman. And now here's Jeff McNeil. The wind of the pitch. Line drive, caught! 
Mets draw first blood thanks to this solo homer. It's now a one nothing ball game. We go to the eighth, and now it's Wilmer Flores. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Bounced out to short. Lindor over to pick it up. Lindor on the first. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Now batting Steven Duggar. The pitch. High fly ball out to center field. Nimmo right there to make the grab. And a couple of quick outs. Up to the plate is Brandon Belt. And here it comes. There's a strike. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some guys. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 and 2 now. Man, he is just dialed in right now. Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. Nope. Next offering is down low. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And that is that. Giants go down quietly. They're down 1 0. Zach Littell will take over here. It's his job to keep his team in the game. Number 46. Bottom of the eighth. And now the catcher comes up to him. James McCann. Here go. Four of them The catcher. Here comes the pitch. That one catches the zone. Strike one. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one just misses. And it's one and two. Kicks and fires. Popped up right side. Bell should have this one. And there's one down. Oh, that's a frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics. And instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. And he deals. Nimmo takes a strike there as he stands at the plate now. Action in the San Francisco bullpen. Jake McGee up and loosening in the pen. Garcia warming up as well. Next offering is in for a strike. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Next offering way off the plate. And a base hit into right. Now he'll turn for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. A little more back spin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. So up next, Starling Marte. And a pitch. And takes low for ball one. Nimmo, the runner at second with one away. Next offering misses, and that's ball two. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. The 2-0 is in for a strike.
swing and a base hit around third. Not in time. He's safe. Got the job done to put him up by two. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he made it out front for the line drive knock. And next for the Mets, Francisco Lindor. The pitch. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Strike two. On the ground, right side, sneaks through, base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Now that first base And now the first baseman, Pete Alonso. The pitch. And that's off the inside edge. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the south would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it. We know what you mean. The next pitch misses, and it's 2-0. Oh. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. And the right-hander deals. Swings and misses. 2-1 two and one now. The 2-1. And that one off the outside edge. When the skipper calls down to the bullpen, he's expecting the guy to come in and get outs. So far, not getting what he was hoping for. Nope. Yeah, there's ball four. A real bad time for a walk. You're trailing in this ball game, trying to keep things close. They've been in a difficult spot, and things aren't getting any easier. So here comes Jake McGee into the game, and he's on to deal with the bases loaded. So the bases are loaded here, one man gone. Mark Canna up now for the Mets. And a pitch. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Where'd that last pitch miss? Don't be surprised. A ball on the ground to the corners. That they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Base is loaded. One away. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Next to hit, Eduardo Escobar. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And now the lefty. Look, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. Two outs. That one misses. And the count is three and one. Face knock here really gives them an opportunity to take control of this ball game. You don't want that other team to think they have a shot, and a knock here would be a big blow. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. This to center field. Duggar settles under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single.
Last chance coming up for the Giants. Back here at the ballpark, all set to start the ninth in this one. Here's Jack Peterson. DeGrom back to work. Oh, that insurance run in the bottom of the eighth inning was so good to add on, especially with this power hitter at the plate. If he goes deep, you're still up in the ball game. Really good spot to be in right here. On the ground, Lindor handles the chance. Over to first, and a quick out number one. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what it was supposed to do. Here's Brandon Crawford. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. That one is hammered. Right field. Way back there. And that one is going to go. Brandon Crawford takes him deep, and they close the gap. It's 2-1. With this guy's velocity, a changeup is really a break for a hitter. He got a BP fastball, didn't move a whole lot, and he absolutely tattooed it. Tommy Listella to the plate. The, the right-hander back to work. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the night. In the air, left field. Canna pulls it down, two away. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. Lamont Wade Jr. The wind of the pitch. There's a strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. Righty to the plate. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Just one out away. Try to close it out. Stays alive. Next pitch just misses. Two and two. offering his foul back definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside I really think the outer half is open and a foul ball he stays alive the tying run at the plate lifted in the air right center field He puts it away, and that'll do it. The Mets claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. So the New York Mets have jumped out to a 1-0 lead in this division series. Yeah, and that carries a lot of weight in a five-game series, Boog. It's huge to get an advantage right away. Yep, a Game 2 victory will have them one step away from the LCS. Yeah, but I'll tell you, on the other side, Losing game one can really sharpen that focus, man. Those guys know that they've got very little room for error at this point. from the home of the Mets, City Field in Queens, New York. The show presents the National League Division Series. 
It's the San Francisco Giants going up against the New York Mets. With my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Chump. A big game two in store for us here today, Chris. Yeah, this might be the game to actually decide the series, Boog. When it's five games, getting a 2-0 lead is a dominant position to be in, and I don't see this series getting to a fifth game if we have a repeat of game one's outcome in this one. Yeah, the Crows start circling for a team that falls into a two-game deficit, not where you want to be. First pitch coming at you right after the break. No outs, runner at first. And the batter will be the shortstop, Francisco Lindor. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Back over to first, and they're keeping him close. And a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Signs of movement in the Giants bullpen. Zach Littell preparing to come on if needed. Garcia, a lefty, warming up as well. Next one off the plate inside. Two balls, no strikes, the count. Next offering is in for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. Wood throws over. Marte back in standing. Marte gets his lead at first with nobody out. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Well, that was an important at bat this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. And here it comes. And that's outside. You know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Two and one now. And a strike in there. First and second here, no outs. Outside corner got him looking. He can't believe it. So far, just one of those days for this lineup. You get a couple yeah, of runners on, right. and you're looking at having a big oh. inning, and that strikeout yeah, right there just pours water on the fire. You look for the next hitter to step up and try to do something, pick up his teammate and his club. Two on, one out. Mark Canna will hit next. The pitch. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. And it's gone. Home run. Mark Hanna takes him deep. And they grab the lead. It's 3-0. Pitch was intended to stay inside, but it leaked out over the middle of the plate. Hitter waited on it, and he connected just perfectly. And now it's switch hitting third baseman Eduardo Escobar. One for two. 
First off, bring it just misses. Good ball. Next pitch downstairs. Two balls, no strikes. Still only one out here in the inning. Next one misses. And now 3 0. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Next pitch in for a strike, 3 and 1. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Line drive to short and caught. Up next to the net, the designated hitter. Two outs, bases empty. J.D. Davis up now for the Mets. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Kicks and deals. And a count one and two. Wind of the pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Wait, in position? And puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll do it. Mets get three on this homer. It's now 3-0. We go to the top of the seventh, and yeah, the batter now, Brandon Crawford. The Giants in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid-off man. Need a good at bat out of him right here. In there at the knees, and that's strike one. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Alonso takes it to the bag, and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air, lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. La Stella stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. Next pitch off the play, and yeah, that's ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. A one-two count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. Next pitch is outside. Two and two. On the ground to short. Fires across the diamond. And two away to start the seven. The left field. Here's the left fielder, Lamont Wade Jr. The pitch. In the air, left field. Canna sizing this one up. And he makes the catch. And that's the third out. Giants are down 1 2 3. Still down 3 0. So the Giants with a new pitcher on the hill, Harleen Garcia. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the second baseman, Jeff McNeil. And he deals. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. A swing and a soft liner. And there's a hit. Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. Flared it out there and got it to drop for the base hit. I think he got it off the handle just a little bit, but the bat held up for him enough to get something behind that swing. James McCann up now for the Mets. And a pitch. Splits the plate. It's 0-1. Here's your one. 
Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Bounced up the middle. And it finds its way through for a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there was just no one there to knock it down. Next to hit, Brandon Nimmo. Here comes a pitch. Just missed. And a sack bunt here. Flores. Fired to second, and they'll just get the one. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. Starling Marte up now for the Mets. And a pitch. There's the strike. And now it's even up. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Next pitch is downstairs. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Next offering is down low, and it's three and two. McNeil at third, Nimmo at first, one gone. Ground ball, left side, base hit, and a run comes in. Not in time, he's safe. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in the mechanics. Francisco, Lindor. So one out with two aboard. So up next for New York, Francisco Lindor. The switch hitter batting right. There's a swing and a drive. That one's carrying. Slams into the wall and hangs on. Now a throw to first, and he won't get back in time. It's a double play. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Mets four and the Giants nothing. All set for the start of the inning. Now it's going to be Mike Yastrzemski. Scherzer back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Next pitch misses. Ball one. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. I'll tell you. Man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. And the right hater back to work. This one in the air center field. Nimmo settles underneath it, makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now and up next for San Francisco, Wilmer Flores. For the fourth time tonight, he's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Slice to right. That's a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. The center Not a bad slider by any means. It was down and away, mm -hmm. but an even okay. better job to spoil that thing. And he let it travel, didn't try to hook it. Man, that's a really good approach. And up next for the Giants, Steven Duggar. And a pitch. 
There's a strike. Owen Tuzzi waves at that one. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Scherzer deals. Soft contact in the air. That's a hit. And they stop him at third, so base is loaded with one away. Well, he's been having a hard time just putting the ball in play in this one, so that should help soften the blow. He actually kind of fooled him with the breaking ball on the inside part of the plate there. Didn't get a good piece of it, but he got just enough to fight it off and make it work out. One out, base is loaded. And digging in for San Francisco, Brandon Bell, one for three. The pitch. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Yastrzemski on third. Flores on second. Duggar over at first with one away. Well, notice they've been pitching him hard inside, and the key is if you're going to make a mistake, you've got to make it off the dish. If it leaks out over the plate with this kind of power, we'll be asking for a new baseball. So here's Scherzer. Stays alive. Going to now. Base hit, one run in already. Runner at third, puts on the brakes. Base is still loaded and still only one away. Well done, narrows the deficit with the RBI there. When you can turn a ball around at 107 off the bat, it's gonna make you feel really good inside. If he elevates that a little bit more, it's definitely out of here. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. And now Jack Peterson Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Max Scherzer is done. It's a three-run game, and we'll be back to tell you about the new arm in a minute. Now Matt Barnes takes over, and he steps right into a bases-loaded jam. And here it comes. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. In the air to left center. Out of here! Jack Peterson bops one out, and they grab the lead in the eighth. It's 5 4. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance. They found a way to fight back big time. Just an unbelievable turn of events here. I mean, they've been putting together solid at bats all inning. They set the table for them. And he delivered big time to get him the lead. Huge momentum shift on that swing. And now we'll see if they can hold on. And up next for San Francisco, Brandon Crawford. The pitch. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. One down, base is empty. And now one and two. The one two. The punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was off, it was very competitive, and that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table, and you can't make contact. Now, here is Tommy LaStella in there for strike one. That one drilled left field. That's a base hit. Oh, 
all over that one right there. Nice job going the opposite way with it, letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. That to right. Marte moving back for this one. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Ah, when the Giants go deep, it's bye-bye, baby. And the home team down a run. Camilo Doval gets handed the rock out of the pen, and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead. Welcome back. And here's the first baseman, Pete Alonso. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. The pinch. That's in for a strike. I wonder how much of a distraction those fans behind home plate are to the opposing pitcher. I mean, they are into it. They're trying to will this claw back into this ballgame. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Next offering misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Got him swinging. And a key out leading off the bottom of the eighth. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. And stepping in for New York, Mark Canna. He's already homered here in this one. Next pitch downstairs, and that is ball one. The 1 0. And another ball. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats. And the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. And the righty deals. And it is 2 and 1. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Belt and fires. Got him looking. That's his second strikeout. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages now, of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, I'll tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Eduardo Escobar up now for the Mets. Pitch misses inside. 1 and 0. Oh. And the 1 0. And that's outside. Two down, nobody on. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Right hander kicks, deals. And now 3 and 1. Taking all the way on 3-0 right there, and as a hitter, you're saying, why couldn't I get that pitch earlier in the count when I'm looking to swing? 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. And he reluctantly takes his walk. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. The right-hander back to work. Davis in the box now takes a cold strike. Escobar off of first with two away. Next pitch is outside. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more guys that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. Swing and a miss, and that is that. It ain't real. Kick the ring, plus OG. 
Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Back here in Queens, and now the right fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. The pitch. Just missed. Next offering is in for a strike. Righty delivers. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead, getting that W. And now, Kurt Casali. First pitch, just misses. One run game here at the top of the ninth. Rip, but it curls foul. Bounce to the right. McNeil gets it to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the ninth. Okay. Running out of chances to pad the lead. Here's the third baseman, Wilmer Flores. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. In there and it's 0-1. Swing and a ground ball out to short. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. Up next for the Giants. And yeah, up next for the Giants, Steven Duggar. Here comes a pitch. There's the swing and a miss. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. And that one is lifted in the air. Drops for a hit. He couldn't run it down. Hanna whips it back in. And that stops the lead runner at third on a two out double. The first base. And digging in for San Francisco, Brandon Bell. Bit of strategy here. They issue the intentional walk, and that'll set up a force play at any base. Jack Peterson stands in. And his swing in the eighth is the one everyone will talk about after this game, saying it was huge. Yeah, but several things need to align. You've got to get some men on base. You've got to get that pitcher on the ropes. And then you need the guy at the dish that can hit the ball over the fence and you hope that the pitcher also makes some type of mistake and that's exactly what happened right there they were able to check every box and you're right there's a massive swing in this game next pitch is popped up and makes the play and that's out number three huge opportunity missed there eight nine one two up in the bottom of inning number nine it's the Giants five and the Mets four now here's Tyler Rogers out of the pen and he'll work on holding this lead number 71 all set for the bottom of the ninth now it's the second baseman Jeff McNeil what are you looking to do in these spots you're down a run you're leading off the inning he's not a power hitter a guy that's looking to tie it up with one swing so he's going to take and get into this at bat and try to get deep into the bat ultimately however he can get to first base Next offering is in for a strike. That's in there. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Got him! And that's the first out. There, now James McCann. Okay, you got the number nine hole hitter right here. Looking to do whatever he can to get on base, turn this lineup over so the best hitters in this lineup have a chance to tie up the ball game or maybe even walk it off. Mets going with a pinch hitter. Dominic Smith. Looking to start something with one gone. And the pitch. These home fans, they are making a lot of noise, putting pressure on that pitcher out there. The tying run at the plate. Swings through that one out in front that time. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. 
No, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. And next for the Mets, Brandon Nimmo. That one's in there 0-1. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. This one in the air right field. He's got it. Ball game. And the Giants even this series up at a game apiece. So the New York Mets come through with a big win to knock this series at one apiece. Yeah, and they needed this game, Boog. A loss here would have had them in desperation mode. Now they go into game three feeling pretty good about the situation. This is setting up to be a great series. And with a chance to go up 2-0, this could be chalked up as a missed opportunity on the other side. We'll see how they bounce back as we change venues for game three. Mm -hmm. 